read about Hans Bellner. He is a surrealist artist. Um, well, he was associated with the surrealist movement. Uh, he made uh, uh, dolls, mannequins, uh, about which I'm going to um, talk about, as in uh, try to prove that these would uh, inscribe in the concept of the body of God by the Deleuze's concept. So, um, uh, there have been a lot of other different approaches to Francis Bacon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I had previously read um, a paper on Francis Bacon. Okay. So, <laughs> um, Previous approaches on uh, Belmer's work. Um, most of them have been uh, through a psychoanalytical perspective, which I will try to contradict or to delegitimize de in this context. For example, um, uh, there is a, a theoretician, uh, Sue Taylor, who uh, uses um, uh, this psychoanalytical Freudian uh, framework to um, define his works to um, sorry um, anyhow her um, her theories are quite uh, her, her theories are quite radical they uh, are reductive, sometimes exaggerated, and sometimes arbitrary. He dis she describes uh, his works as an unrelenting victim victimization of female subjects. Uh, she says that he depicts female bodies, uh, mutated, sodomized, eviscerated. So she talks about hostility and aggression, about a misogynistic effect, and of course, uh, the omnipresent uh, Oedipal complex, and uh, she also comes to speak about homoerotic tendencies at some point. Uh, she always tries to circumscribe, to circumscribe his work through his biography, but then again, his biography isn't uh, isn't quite rich enough. Uh, regarding the subject in order to make such suppositions. Anyhow, I'm going to show you a few examples of uh, Belmer's works. Okay, so how do I... How would I make this possible? Uh, um, Spaniard, <laughs> and um, 
one, one might say that uh, the surrealists use this psychoanalytic discourse somehow to legitimize their marginality um, because it, it was, well, it was a, a scientific discourse and um, that is, uh, it, had, it had the effect of somehow uh, making them protrude towards the center of the of the um, of the social system um, where they were only uh, previously just marginal, of course, unintentionally. Um, Belmer himself uh, borrows concepts from Freud, such as repression, repression condensation, displacement, and he uses uh, these concepts in his writings. However, um, I'm going to demonstrate in the following minutes that this framework, this conceptual framework, is certainly not sufficient uh, for uh, grasping his works. So, um, I'm going to give you an example of the analysis of uh, Hugh Taylor. Uh, 
show me how I actually can make it into a slideshow. for 
this book himself. So, um, um, so here we clearly see uh, a contamination of the hand with the foot. It basically looks as if it were um, a shoe of some sort. And um, the shoulder that, that acts as um, a neurotic element in this case. Um, another quote from his book. The next month, after accesses of somnambulism and char character changes, she lost her sight, which has migrated to the tip of the nose, and in the left lobe of the ear, her visual acuity remained just as intact. The olfactory sense then moved in the heel. For her to generally have a tongue, two hands, two pair of breasts, and numerous fingers, it is necessary that such a multiplication is experienced, first of all, in the organism of the beholder. Um, and so the, the sex organ seems to be re-territorializing different parts of the body. Uh, and I also quote, the vagina unfolds between the index and the uterus, between the hands, between the connected legs, between the folds of her, her, her own arms and the covert cavity of the armpits. These are other, other examples of these illustrations of the contamination of senses and the malaxation of the body part. Regarding the homoerotic tendencies of which Sue Taylor speaks, um, she inspires uh, from um, an anecdote about Belmer. Uh, apparently, when he was traveling with his father to uh, to go at the university and study technology there. Um, he uh, pulled a prank, let's say, on his father, and uh, it seems that the, the uh, train ride was quite long, and while he was asleep, while his father was asleep, he went off and dressed himself as a woman, and then uh, showed up like that, and which was quite a shock for his, his father. Anyhow, um, I'm going to uh, address this this uh, problem in, uh, in the uh, terms of the coming woman, because Belmer always speaks of, um, of the eye of the be beholder uh, when, he, um, when he addresses these uh, contaminations. And uh, we can speak of an identification with these uh, manifestation, manifestations. Turned inside out by the force of a passion I would have wanted to share with her, she created the transparency of my own heart from her uncovered body. I possessed her through myself before possessing her. On her body I have opened my own being as a fruit made of, made of flesh. It was as if I wanted to be reborn through her, through the woman I myself was in secret. I violated in her a sexless being whose flesh paid the ransom of my solitary pleasure. Um, and also, uh, he speaks of the uh, what would seem to be a, a territorial territorialization and deterritorialization of his own uh, body shape with uh, that 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 he perceives as. Um, a symbol of uh, the alterity of the woman. And this is another quote. In love with the woman, but also with myself, uh, with himself, he speaks at the, sec at the third person sometimes. 
I am in love with a woman, but also with himself. A man seated in an armchair, in an armchair, falls asleep and dreams that the woman places a place. Attitude forms. It's some sort of movement of kind of emergence, and also I kind of I very much like to see. I think a consideration of the material that Belmer uses, you know, for his dolls, whereas you know we just very much see the some sort of visual kind of science, it's kind of flattening everything into this level of kind of formal operation. So I'm sorry, but I did not get a sense of uh, this kind of body without organs at all. I think that you are wittingly kind of try to delegitimize psychoanalysis, but you kind of uh, reconstitute, you know, the, the lesson hegemony in a kind of really similar way. Thank you again, and let's move on to the last presentation for this session. Yes, uh...